Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first Eredivisie jersey review on my channel and the reason why I haven't had one is because as of the date I'm shooting this video I have only jerseys for five teams and the other that I just recently acquired. However, while it might be a little bit uh, more empty than I usually have in my, in my backgrounds, I still want to keep it that way. And what's even more important for every part of the video that I'm shooting, I have a jersey to wear. So that's all the fun of it. And I'm really, really excited about doing that because the Eredivisie to me had always some sleeper jerseys and some really, really interesting ones in there. We also have tons of different suppliers that we don't usually call in the big leagues at all. Now, in this video, I will go through the jerseys that have been released for each of these uh, teams and give them a grade from one, the worst to 10, the best. My personal view, at the end I will ask you which jerseys you agree or disagree with me uh, in here. The pictures I've taken from the wonderful page Football Kit Archive, which you definitely should check out and then a little, a little bit of editing that it all fits nicely. As for which team goes in which video, if you are a long time viewer of my channel, you already know I take last season standing and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have 18 teams, so four videos and you know, each number for the video. And so in this video we have Feyenoord, Vitesse, NEC and Nijmegen and with Sparta Rotterdam, so two Rotterdam teams in there, only four teams because we're now ent entering the second part, part three and four of the Eredivisie jersey review. I uh, will sort them of course alphabetically, how I call them, and that's why we start with the team that I'm wearing, which is of course Feyenoord, who at the moment of shooting this video are top of the table. And while Ajax shirts by Adidas get all the plaudits, I think Feyenoord shirts are very much overlooked. Uh, as of late, Adidas have done a really, really good job with Feyenoord not shirts by keeping the half-half look straight. The reason why I do not like this jersey all that much is because they don't keep the half-half look straight here. This one uses the floppy color and makes it half-half. Yes. Maybe the red goes uh, infringes a little bit too much on the, on the side where the color is red. I have to say, I absolutely love this one. This was one where I said, yeah, this is how you do a, a modern take on a classic jersey. I love the floppy color. Yes, again, I'm not like Tony Cross. I, this color is a little bit odd. This color looks really, really strong. I think this is a championship um, look. In every regard, I like the half-half sleeves. I even think that um, in league, the uh, back looks like that. Uh, only in European play, they need to put boxes. Super strong, super nice. It's my favorite Eredivisie shirt. It really, really is this season. I absolutely love this one. I'm gonna give this 10 stars because you cannot... This is better than the Ajax shirt. I really think it is. Um, I think even the away jersey, uh, you know, uh, the city of Rotterdam has the colors green and white, so uh, there's always a greenish jersey in there. Maybe they tone the green a little bit too down and it gets a little bit too much into the blue, but it's also not a bad shirt that very much um, makes nice contrast. Uh, of course, it reminds us of a little bit of the gray shirt that they were using last season where they made it to the Conference League final. I do like the red accents and especially the little white outlines. Also note how the sponsor is outlined in red a little bit, which is the one thing that I think is missing from, from the crest. I think making something in red, maybe outlining the F in red might have worked quite well and even making the logo of Adidas, maybe two-tone, would, would have been nice. Overall, a nice, kind of stylish looking shirt with a strange color, but I don't dislike it. To me, this is a seven. Uh, it's not up there with the Ajax all alternates, but it's a really, really useful one. And then pink. <laughs> it's black with hot pink. Again, my wife loves it. Um, I actually don't, I think it looks quite good in play. My problem are the atomic sweat stains. 
below the arms, which I do not understand. If this was all black and then just have the pink highlights, um, even the crest is actually quite well done. Again, we should do something about the F and this is my only worry with the Feyenoord logo that uh, if it's not done properly, you know, in two color, it doesn't translate very well. Uh, that's maybe one part that can be improved. I think it's better done on the away jersey where the uh, white part stays white here, uh, the white part is black and then the F completely gets lost. I think you could have moved the pink over, but you know, I guess it makes sense because it's red and white, so pink and black, yeah. I'm trying to make sense here. It doesn't make much sense, does it? Yeah, I would have flipped it to make the F stand out a little a little bit more. Other than that, simple template shirt. Um, the Atomic Sweat Stains is really what bugs me on this one. Other than that, I don't mind the color combination at all. But yeah, the underarm patches. Pull it down. Um, yeah, but let's give it still six. Uh, it's a very bright new jersey. Moving away to a smaller team in Nijmegen and check on Football Kit Archive the jersey history. This is the, uh, this uh, look here by Legea is the traditional look. Uh, the red jersey with the green band that is outlined in black. However, there was a different look that was kind of a half half in red and green with black sleeves, which honestly I think looks better. And they were wearing this for a whole lot, long, 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 long time, but now they go back to the more traditional look. Um, not saying that this is a bad look. I think it's very unique. Um, I'm making out some patterns here below the sponsor, which I think is really nice. Uh, the, uh, the other thing is, why is the color so white? Either the shirt is super, super tight, which being an Italian company, I can very well imagine, or uh, people from Nijmegen have a really, really thick neck. Um, but I think it's overall a class look. The color car combination is a little bit odd. I would agree with that. But I have to say I cannot fault it for that. I mean, these, these are the club's colors. And yeah, go with red. It's not red and white, which is all that I usually ask for from the Netherlands. Let's give this thanks to the pattern. Yeah, the sponsor will be up, but I would give this jersey an 8 uh, star. The away jersey, I think, is even nicer. Again, white color, but I really like how the club's colors are put into this checkerboard squares, other, otherwise a white, white shirt. That is a winner. That really is, is a winner, especially it fits very nicely with the crest. I'm going to go nine here. That's actually a really nice one. Uh, however, you do a little bit lose me on the last version, um, which is very much black out. I would wish for a teensy bit more green here if you go all black. Uh, we've seen other jerseys before, uh, like hair and vein. It's not that the jersey per se is bad, it's just uh, too dark. Uh, especially the crest, which kind of gets completely extinguished from here. Uh, and I do like black and red, but I think it... Uh, something does, doesn't quite connect with me here. I'm gonna give this a 6. Moving over to Sparta Rotterdam, so we go to the other Rotterdam team, another team by uh, Robe. Classic Sparta Rotterdam look, uh, red and white stripes and look up PSV, this is how you do the sleeves. Uh, I really like what, what, what they're doing, I even don't mind the sponsor, I think the sponsor looks pretty, pretty cool because it's not a box, it's kind of, um, it's an outline, which is fine. Maybe the D&S sponsor above the Robe logo is a little bit too much. Uh, also, the v-neck seems to not go around, I think that's what bugged me. I think I would have liked to, that, that it is more like the sleeve cuffs. That's maybe the only other, the only, only thing and maybe the side paneling is also, also a little bit weird. But other than that, uh, nice one, I, 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 I would say, but I wouldn't go higher than 7 with this one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost a fan or jersey of a jersey. Uh, I actually think this is better than the fan or shirt because I really like how, how they do the um, um, color and the sleeve cuffs in the uh, white and the red. And then there's the Sparta Rotom 1888 uh, print all over. This looks even better. This looks actually special, unlike the fan or shirt, which I told you looks nice. 
but not but it looks more template this looks a little bit more special uh i'm gonna actually rate this quite high uh i think uh it's not nine it's an eight star but it i really really like that one however uh i do not understand blackout jerseys i do not understand blackout jerseys i just don't and i understand okay black 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 it's what dortmund were, were doing why why Yes, it's a trend. I'm not a fashionable. I'm not into fashion, so I don't understand it. Um, it's a black shirt. It is a black shirt. That's all there is, and you cannot even make anything out on it. So I, to me, it's pointless. But I like black. Let's go with six. <laughs> Let's go with six. No rhyme or reason right here. Uh, moving on to Vitesse, who had some quite adventurous home jerseys over the years. Now we have a winner. I love this Nike template. We saw it with Sturm Graz and other teams. This is really, really nice looking. Uh, I actually would like to have this jersey. Either one of the old classic Vitesse shirts or this one. I think it really looks nice. I think uh, it might be even an uh, anniversary because I see a 103rd in the old foot football. But I uh, sponsor everything fine it's up there with the Feyenoord jersey I think it's a really 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 strong look uh, we have to go with 10 here uh, there's nothing that I can complain about um, I even think that the away jersey now uh, is not so bad now I would more like it if it was black and yellow and not navy and orange that's the one that that's maybe, 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 maybe the one thing but however if you would go black I don't know how you would put the cathedral up there I checked out some um, pictures from Arnhem and yes the middle tower is really the cathedral I don't know where the side towers are coming from but it's a pattern that I like very 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 much so I'm thinking maybe a dark gray with black and yellow uh, definitely the yellow on the sleeves so the, the I think the jersey is really cool and I actually do like the template with the sleeves it actually doesn't look I, I i i really dig that one just the covers are a little bit off but there's a there's really much like i really like the local cathedral being put on the front of the jersey uh give it nice colors give it more vitesse colors and this is an absolute winner i still think it's strong enough for me to give this an eight star and then we end it at the uh, third jersey where yeah that's an Aston Villa away jersey it has even the V for Villa don't get this one I really don't and I while I'm sure it is a Nike template the pattern on it truly is not a template I don't get that one I don't get the colors I don't uh, it's it's a it's a miss it's a miss for other teams I might like like this maybe Maybe, I'm now speculating and yeah, forgive me, I should probably have researched that better, but time is rather uh, tight these, these days, don't have much time for research. Maybe this is the original look for it is. maybe. Let's see, three. And there we go. This was the last jersey in this review. Please let me know which jerseys you liked in here and which ones uh, you disliked, where you agree with me, where you disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Got too much I want to see movies like this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.